Some of our nation's most prominent names, including the Kennedys, Bushes, and Hiltons. Some might think it's a modern day secret society. We have heard of their good doings, and we wanted to find out more. Nine on your side anchor Carol Williams takes us inside the Order of Malta. It's definitely a help. Uh, it's definitely. Without it, I, like I said, I couldn't make my budget. Debbie Stanton drives from Fairfield to Cincinnati to get her prescriptions filled at St. Vincent de Paul's Pharmacy. It took two years, changing legislation, and the dedication of many people to open Ohio's first charitable pharmacy. But it almost didn't happen. We really didn't know which way we could go and how we could finish up this project that everybody had de devoted so much energy to. Mm -hmm. And there they appeared. The Order of Malta stepped in to donate a quarter of a million dollars to the pharmacy. Helping the sick and poor has been the mission of the Order of Malta for centuries. Bill Burley has been a member of our local chapter since the 90s. Helping the sick and the poor and defending the faith, then it becomes the mission of the Order to defend the Pope. <laughs> Of Malta is a worldwide religious order of the Catholic Church. It was founded during the 11th century during the Crusades in Jerusalem. There are 13,000 members worldwide. Our local chapter has about 40 members. It's nice, you know, it's really wonderful when you have people who have a great deal of influence and yeah. um, the wherewithal to do whatever they want and the thing that they want and choose is to think about the people who are struggling. Last year, the pharmacy filled 45,000 prescriptions valued at $4.7 million. I must admit, when I was a young man. According to a U.S. News and World report, the U.S. Malta members are prominent in government, business, and professional life. We're members of the order, including some fairly prominent people that on a given Sunday go to the Hamilton County Jail to have some religious services with the cellmates. This is the Malta Cross. That's what everybody knows Malta by. You may have seen this cross before, but never realized the history and symbolism behind it. Hamilton County Commissioner Greg Hartman, a new member, is impressed by the order's work and the quiet way they go about it. I think the, the culture of Cincinnati is understated. Um, some other parts of the country and the world uh, are different. I think that uh, in New York, in a sense, the Order of Malta and the Catholic Church is somewhat of a, somewhat of a, of a status symbol. It's more of a big deal. Each year, members from all over the world and our local chapter bring the sick on a pilgrimage to Lourdes in France to pray and bathe in the healing waters near the rock cave where the Virgin Mary is believed to have first appeared in 1858. Well, I think probably I was very moved by our experience at Lourdes, mm -hmm. taking some very sick people and seeing what that did there. Cardinal O'Connor used to say, Lourdes is not miracle of the body, it's a miracle of the transformation of the heart that people who go there. The members respond to international disasters. They helped with the efforts in Haiti. Even though they sound like medieval knights coming to the rescue, which they sort of are, um, the work that they do is so much 21st century, so current to the needs that people face right now. As far as the secrecy goes, the people we talk to say there's nothing secret about it. There's a lot of satisfaction out of seeing things like the charitable pharmacy take form in Cincinnati, where you know that people are really being helped. You know, some charities, you never are certain whether good is being done. In this case, you know it. That was